Hi, I'm John Gorham, uh, chef owner of Toro Bravo. Today we're gonna to be making bacon wrapped dates with warm papri paprika honey. And uh, we're gonna start off by choosing first some really good medjool dates. Um, I like to get dates that have the pits in them. I can actually feel how fresh they are. You want the date to feel soft, almost like caramel. Uh, if they're hard or brittle, or you see any white spots, they're no good. So uh, once you take the pit out, they start to, to you know, the, the lifespan goes away a little bit, so again, I'll, I like to pick them with. First thing I'll do is make an incision right down the middle of the date and pull out the pits. And I'll just do an assembly line of this. So once we get all the pits out, we're going to take them and stuff them full of almonds. Um, here at Toro Bravo, we, we roast our own almonds in olive oil and toss them in sea salt. But if you don't have the luxury of doing that, you can just buy Marcona almonds from the store. And then we'll just take one almond and place it where each of the pits were. Then we'll take some bacon. We use uh, Nooski's bacon, which is uh, from Wisconsin. It's a double smoked applewood bacon. And uh, if, you have, if you get it in a, a slab, ask your butcher to slice it thin to wrap with. He'll know what you're talking about. And from a whole slice like this, what I like to do is cut it on a little bit of a bias like that so that when I wrap it, if it's a little short, I'll have a little tail to uh, make, it, make it actually set in. And with these, you want to make sure you go all the way around about one and a half turns. If you go around too much, you get, you'll get rubbery bacon, which is no good. And if you don't go around enough, it won't, it won't stay on when you go to cook them. To get the, uh, the juice out of the lemon, we're going to just kind of squeeze and roll it, get that ready. We have our paprika and our honey here, and now we're, we're ready to go ahead and start cooking these off. So now we're gonna actually cook the dates off and warm the honey. Uh, the first thing I like to do is, uh, one, ch ch choose a really good honey. And I always try to choose a local product. This, uh, this is some clover honey from uh, Hood River. And for 10 dates, you know, we need maybe a half a cup to a quarter cup of honey. So we're just gonna pour that in. And uh, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, paprika into this. And the juice of about a half a lemon. Depending on the time of year, right now, lemons are in season, so they're, they're giving off a lot of juice. Summertime, you might need to use a whole lemon to get enough juice for this. And I like to take a fork, or if you have a really small whisk, and make sure that my uh, paprika gets fully uh, broken down into the honey. And this will crystallize like any other sugar if you over, um, overheat it. So we're just looking to go um, warm, just to drizzle over. And then while that's warming up, we're gonna go ahead and cook the dates off. Um, we're gonna get a, I like to use a non-stick uh, with the dates, it's just, it's easier, kind of foolproof kind of thing. And uh, we're gonna cook them off in a little olive oil. And if I was, again, I, I mentioned earlier about cooking these for breakfast. If I was to do these with breakfast with maple syrup, I would probably cook these in a little brown butter to kind of give that flavor. But for, for the flavors that we're doing tonight, the olive oil really complements well. So we're gonna let this just start to get a little warm before we add them in. You can see here our, our honey's getting warm and starting to break down. It'll get really loose and watery, which is, uh, you know, time to stop. So you can see here that it's really kind of lost its body from getting warm and we know we're good. So now our pan's good and warm. We're gonna go ahead and uh, a good a good trick. Whenever you're sauteing anything, is is right when you put them in, just move them a little bit, and that'll create that'll that'll help them from not sticking. Basically, you're just creating a seal on the food so they won't stick to your pan. 
We're going to adjust our heat down to a medium because we want the dates to, do, to get warm on the inside. If we cook them too fast, they'll be cold in the center and cooked on the outside. Cooking these takes about, you know, they're actually pretty quick. They take about two to three minutes once they go in the pan. Um, it's something you, you want your bacon, if you cook it uh, too slow, then you render all your bacon away and you do want to have some, some of the body of the, of the bacon. And as you can see here, I'm going to start flipping them out and we're getting nice and golden. And this, uh, if this is something like during, during, you know, for the restaurant or even at home, they, uh, you can, you can bake and wrap these and have them in the refrigerator for up to like four or five days before you need them. Um, the dates in the refrigerator keep for like a week or two and your bacon's cured. So, uh, it's something that you could, you know, do ahead of time. Or if you had several brunches during the holidays or something, you could make a big batch and serve them throughout several different days or courses. Okay, give it one, one little blast of high heat at the end just to kind of get a nice little crispy on the last part before we serve them. Then we're just going to take this. Just a little bit of the honey over it. I like to make sure each each day it gets its own own little honey over it. I mean, this is definitely something you'd want to serve with a cocktail fork if you're doing it as a past hors d'oeuvre. So here you are, uh, bacon wrapped dates with warm honey, lemon, and paprika. Uh, a great winter fall appetizer. Mm -hmm.